Afghanistan, the land of Afghans, a land of complex history and culture. I'm here to try and understand what life is really like here on the ground. Welcome to Kabul, the capital city of Afghanistan. I arrived here yesterday evening and headed straight for my guest house here in the center of the city. Kabul is a city surrounded by incredible mountains like the Pagman and also the Shidwaza mountain range to the east and also the northeast, as well as the beautiful and iconic Hindu Kush mountain range to the west. So as you land here in Kabul, the scenes are pretty spectacular and it was incredible watching them as I landed here inside the city but I've landed at a pretty crucial time here in Afghanistan. I've arrived here in Kabul on August 15th 2022 and that date may ring a bell in your mind for the tragic events which happened back in 2021 where hundreds of thousands if not millions of people were trying to flee with their families to escape the Taliban rising to power. It has been one year to this day, August 15th, where the Taliban swept to power and took over the country, leaving many, many people, 97% of people here in the country without the ability to afford food, basic healthcare, necessities to run a house and to live. And it's a pretty dire situation here in Afghanistan. I'm going to spend today exploring Kabul to try and understand what is really going on and what life is like here on the ground. Now as today is a turbulent day here in Kabul and Afghanistan, Afghans as well as myself don't really know what's going to go on today um, but I'm hoping inshallah it will be a safe one for everyone. I'm really expecting to see some pretty heavy scenes today but also I'm hoping to see some good ones. Um, people associate Afghanistan with war which rightly so the country has been through 40 years plus of very turbulent events that have happened here in the country. But while I'm here, I also wanna show you the incredible culture that belongs here. Not only the culture, but the hospitality, the delicious food which belongs here, the history, the people, uh, as well as everything else in between. I think it's so important that I show this because really Afghanistan has some of the world's most amazing culture and food people, history that you can find anywhere in the world. And I'm hoping to discover that, not only here in Kabul, but across the rest of my journey across the country. The one thing that I do know is that people are very different to their government, not only here in Afghanistan, but across the world. And I'm gonna take that into today as we explore Kabul, the capital city of Afghanistan, a city of over five million people. So, let's go. Just arrived here inside one of the famous bird markets here inside Kabul. This market has been around for over 50 years. Entering Kabul's bird market is like stepping back in time to a corner of the city untouched by modernization or military action. It is known as the Alley of Straw Sellers and is a narrow lane tucked behind the Paul Ekishti Mosque lined with stalls and booths selling birds as well as rabbits. <laughs> After visiting the bird market, I headed to Babu's garden, which holds the grave of the first Mughal emperor, Babu, as he requested before he died that his body made his way back from India to be buried in his favourite place, which was Kabul. I also visited the neo safavid Persian-style Saki Shrine before hearing the Taliban celebrations begin. Allah! 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 Allah!
So I'm here in Mahra Hill, it's around 11 a.m. And as you can see all around me, the Talib, Taliban are pretty much celebrating their speedy victory which happened one year ago today. The Taliban flag is all across this park, many people celebrating, many Talib posing for photos, posing their power, which they very much have here in Afghanistan. It's pretty surreal being surrounded by all of them, considering I've seen them in the media for the past year and longer. You can see them all behind me singing, chanting, dancing on the one year anniversary of the Taliban taking over. What do you want to be when you grow up? Doctor. Doctor? Yep. What do you want to be when you grow up? When you're older, what do you want to be? I want to be a doctor. The Taliban are celebrating so much right now that they cannot even see what is happening to the Afghan people right in front of their eyes. It is estimated that up to 97% of the population is below the poverty line with people starving to death or eating just stale bread soaked in liquid to make it edible and they cannot afford healthcare or medicine. Women's rights in Kabul are disappearing. Their faces in public blacked or scratched out. They queue to see the police regarding domestic violence happening to them at home only to be met with answers they shouldn't get. And girls over the age of 12 here in the city have been stopped from going to school with no site in which they can return. And when they protest, which is now so rare due to the violence, they are met with gunfire. Can you just tell me a little bit more about that case and what happened and what you think should happen? طلاق موضوع خونه و پیسارا و کرلا دیمگری پیسارا نورسته و جانی مرابیا و وقت استقرار مرابی تا تمون الوارا چکو محکمه داد پاو محکمه که What was it that you decided here at this court? و پیسارا راست و چی مدعی دعوا دی طلاق کری و دی واهلی کری و هم دی واهل شایدان و نه دی طلاق شایدان و هیچ چی نو استیم مدعی تا مدعیه تا خسام راجی که هم با خسام و کوچی ما واهل نی بکری where do you think the women who are in abusive relationships should go for help? What do you see for the future of Afghanistan? What do you want to happen? I I can say I think it will not get better because of the behavior of them. Uh -huh. But we hope something happen that Allah want. Inshallah, inshallah, inshallah. You will stay in Afghanistan? Yeah, I can. It's my place. Yes. It's my birthplace. How can I live? Nice to meet you, brother. Nice. Thank you.
The future of Afghans here in Kabul is unknown, but I hope it's an equal and peaceful one for them all. The journey across Afghanistan continues.